movie! So on today's random retro bonus round, since I just got a whole stack of PS2 games, we're going to pick something for the PlayStation 2. So give me a random letter. Oh, let's go for T for terrific. Okay, then how about a number? 20. Okay, and that would give us Ty the Tasmanian Tiger. Okay. So, I've seen this game and I don't, I don't know if I've ever played it before. I have seen this. I don't even remember ever hearing of it. <laughs> okay. But then again, there's thousands of PS2 games. <laughs> okay, let's see if this thing loads. Come on. Okay, here. Okay. Ah, there. My mouse had fuzz in it. <laughs> <laughs> This ought to be interesting. So it's only nine years old. <laughs> Seems like a really long time. Oh, EA Games, huh? Yep. Rome. Yeah, I've heard of them. I don't. I may have played some of their stuff before. I wonder if they're still in business or one of those ones that disappeared and got swallowed up. Or yeah, I thought they were. Or at least they were. Last I checked, which was probably around the time this came out. Yeah, I have no idea. Okay, tie the Tasmanian tiger. Yeah, it was just an Australian video game company. That Closed explain. down in 2010. Oh, so they did go out. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, they got a little letter that said from IGN that the Crumb Studio no had not closed down. So they still have, I think, 18 people or something. Mm. Well, they would, the Australian-based company would explain why we're playing... Uh, an Australian themed game as a Tasmanian tiger. Yeah, they did a lot of other games too. Uh, Jimmy Neutron, uh, Spyro. Oh, they Viva were both Pinata, in Spyro. Star Wars The Force Unleashed for the PlayStation, the Wii, and the PlayStation Portable. That's where I've seen them. Yeah, and they did uh, Seen It and Transformers and Clone mm -hmm. Wars, and they did the Games Room on the Xbox. Um,. The Legends of Gohuli. <laughs> Ooh, cinematic cutscene. Yeah, looks like they're doing Windows Phone ones now, so. Okay, now this totally reminds me of Sonic the Hedgehog. The 3D Sonic the Hedgehogs. He, honestly, you know, he doesn't really look all that Tasmanian devilish. Well, then ni neither does Sonic look like a hedgehog. Well, he is spiky. Okay, guys, I'm in. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> now, why did the mouse thingy Don't fall me. in? I'll get help. Ah, the MacGuffins of a video game plot. <laughs> <sighs> Ooh, we, mu we must have stumbled across some ancient ruins. Don't be afraid, Ty. I am Nandu Gili, the Bunyip Elder. Can oh, I boy. It's time you knew the truth. Take the blue pill. <laughs> Years ago, a great battle was fought over the fate of five mystic talismans. We just did a random retro with talismans. 
Uh, yeah. Okay. Hey, Robocon here. Bird, <laughs> Bird brain. <laughs> Well, I don't know where this is going. Is he a turkey? I think he's some kind of a bear, bear a mundi or like a funky flightless bird in Australia. Okay, so wait, if this is showing what happened long, long ago, they had robots in the past, apparently. Well, the birds did, apparently. Uh, the, the Tasmanian devils didn't. The, the, the Tasmanian, they had sticks, I guess. Yeah, they had boomerangs, the birds had robots. Yeah. Holy purebred there. <laughs> of course. Ooh, the self-destruct button. Okay. Bye bye. So he just made a portal. Yeah, an orange portal. Wherever the blue one is. <laughs> yeah, we're come, come on now. Yeah, And of course the portal ripped him through time and space. So what about the that dude? Uh... Those brave few who challenged Boss Cass were trapped in the dreaming. Mom? Dad? Word grows that Boss Cass is seeking out the talismans again. He must be stopped at all costs. It's up to you to find the talismans. <laughs> For a before lizard he does. <laughs> it's up to me to save my family. Oi, Ty! Are you okay? Murray? Oh, am I glad to see you. Oh, you're never gonna believe what just happened. I was playing in the forest when the ground suddenly... And that's when you showed Hello. up. Sounds like you've Jeez, got a big like of adventure <laughs> <of> you, <mate. laughs> Not The lips sort of don't quite I'd match. Be at home oh, you should see part, Sonic Adventure. You you do uh, the adventure they, they didn't even know what I'll lip W was. Okay, so apparently I'm supposed to go find a boomerang. Or another boomerang. Yep. Blimey, you need another boomerang. <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> okay. So this, so this is going to be a platformer or an action game? He doesn't have a double jump. At least not yet. Yeah. G'day, Julius. Now, if I just reroute these wires to... I said g'day, mate. I is death. Oh, goodness graces me. Oh, I didn't see you there. I was just making some last-minute adjustments. Well, 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 you must be Ty. G'day. So, you old coot. <laughs> What's this contraption do? <laughs> This contraption is the key to finding the talismans. Why is this so? It's quite simple, really. Oh boy. It uses an oscillatory microfeeder to scan for trace energy signals that match the unique power matrix of the talismans. Huh? Mm, like a big nose that sniffs them out. Oh. Ah. And thunder eggs are the key to powering the thunder machine. Thunder eggs. Thunder eggs? Oh, they're as rare as hen's teeth, mate. Couldn't you just use batteries? <sighs> if only it was that easy. You see, this machine doesn't just find where the talismans are, it actually teleports them here. Struck me lucky. And that, my friends, requires Australian. a great deal of energy. 
So, uh, how is Ty here gonna find all these thunder eggs? Eh, I was just wondering that myself. A reasonable question. I've created these portals to lead Ty to areas rich with them. Of course, they won't just be lying all over the place. Just oh, never. luck. <laughs> no, a lot that, of them will have already too easy. been found. The trick will be convincing the locals to part with their prized possessions. This sounds but a I'm lot like I another game I just that. played. Um, if you're Dak and as Jackster. resourceful as they or say, Ty, <laughs> Jack oh, yeah. Daxter. Sure think of some power metrics of the talismans. Righto, Ty. There's no point in mucking about. You've got to find a second boomerang. Why? I'll see you in two up. In two up. <laughs> Is two yeah, up some Australian <laughs> slang? It, it must be because there's certainly no shortage of them lately. <laughs> I know, and they don't even sound Australian. I mean, the, that um, koala bear guy actually sounds British. But these guys don't even sound like they're Australian. And I've actually watched some Australian TV shows, so... I, I do have a reference point. <laughs> Two up. Is that different than one up? This billabong has got the lot. Gum trees, wallabies, and even a koala. A koala. Ready to do here. So let's get a move on. <laughs> Throw another shrimp on the barbie. <laughs> and get me a boomerang. <laughs> oh yeah. Why was easy? Yeah, was, there it is. You just tripped over it. <laughs> No, that was the one we already had. Oh, that was his first one. Oh, okay. I guess it is. Okay, so give it to me. Great. Where is it? See that tree over there? Yeah. Well, it's not there. <laughs> right. Well, where is it? It's on top of Frill Neck Peak. So why don't you just go fly up there and grab it for me? You'll just have to jump, run, rang, and it looks a little chubby to fly, but... <laughs> I could make jokes about the fact that he's a cockatoo. Why he doesn't really want to go up there. But... <laughs> oh, apparently I can bite. I need to get a big mouth. So I can throw my boomerang. And bite. Okay, so the boomerang button is the square button, and the bite button is the circle button. Not exactly conducive to combos. Especially when the jump button is the X button. Yeah, I hope this game's a very combo y kind of game. <laughs> no, probably not. Okay, now where did the path go? Is this it? Okay. Um, good. I get a wall right away. I think you're gonna have to jump on that. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> this camera is not doing me any favors. No, it isn't. <laughs> Ooh, I can grab Ooh, things. My boomerang. So it's a little tumor tomb raiderish. Ooh. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One down, 71 to go. <laughs> Come on, let's get a move on. <laughs> That's a thunder egg? This is like uh, exactly like Jack and Daxter. <laughs> Except Jack and Daxter was better. <laughs> Outhouse? I reckon those dunnies are a complete waste of space. <laughs> Only last week I used one, walked two blocks, was clobbered by a frill, and then woke up back on the dunny. Which was the best place to be, given the surprise I got. Julius reckons it's got something to Save do a with pretzel the for the gas jets. <laughs> I have no idea what just did. <laughs> and I don't so think we're supposed to. Probably not. One of these. Something like that. It's just colloquial, um, uh, 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 you know, to get you in the mood that you're in a different land. 
Oh, so the outhouse is a checkpoint? Or what? Uh, that's the dunny, is it? Yeah, the... It's like that hey. all... You don't want to get surprised in the dunny. I recognize <laughs> dunny only. So, so I'm assuming I activated the, um, dunny. Which apparently is, will, will be my checkpoint. That sort of it reminds me of that um, Genesis game, Booger Man or something. I think your checkpoints were like outhouses or something. Uh, it kind of reminds me of Five Shock. I reckon you could put them to good use by pressing the button. except it's those in intro to whatever it is. Oh. Have a go at those crates. I'm supposed to bite the crates. Okay. That that can't be painful at all. Yeah, well you do have jaws like a steel cage, right? <laughs> Apparently. Need aardvarks and rabbits, especially rabbits. <laughs> You can use your rings to tighten. <laughs> Never mind, time. Move on. Shoe Ripper! He said something now. Wait a minute. He said something about pressing the throw button to use them. Oh, there's the grilled rock star lizard thing. Oh, ouch. Hello. What's the. Basket. Okay, it's an ongoing blue. What is that supposed to mean? Yeah, it looks like you have some kind of invincibility or something. Oh uh, no, I'm I'm attracting those um, red things that I'm supposed to be collecting. Oh no, not more cages. Struth, what happened here? Boss Cass did this. He's caged all your bilby mates and hidden them across the land. Oh, yeah? Well, big mistake. No one misses with my mates. Why does he that talk out of the side of his mouth? Each area. <laughs> Just looking at that myself. <laughs> no worries. Unless you're Boss Cass. I guess it's cooler. Count <laughs> it in the side of your mouth. That way you can hold your cigarette in the other door. Oh, don't do that anymore. Do <laughs> no, not really. Oh, hey, he's dodging my mouth. Ooh, I see a... Oh, there's something in the... Yeah, I see yeah. a thingy. What is that? Uh, we didn't find out. It looked like a uh, steering wheel, or uh, like a ship wheel. Yeah, either a steering wheel or a gear. I'm not sure which. Yeah. What, what, is, what is he doing? Oh, so we can't swim or what? He's doing the dog paddle. <laughs> <laughs> that is a very poor version of the dog paddle. Well, Taz paddle. Well, when you breathe out of the side of your mouth, <laughs> it's really hard to swim. Anyway, something weird happened, and he ended up with a thunder egg. Right? Okay, so if I take um. 300 things to a thing, I get a thunder egg. Oh boy. What are they? Um, they look like kangaroos. Punky kangaroos or <laughs> We got a kangaroo gang? Yep. Yeah. Oh boy. This just keeps getting better. And I have no idea what this other cameras are flying around for. What, yeah, what are those? Oh, they look like cameras. Okay. Apparently I can't do anything with them. Not much of a kangaroo gang. Yeah! I 
I guess. So what do you say, 90 these things and I get a thunder egg? Oh, hello. I thought you said 300 of them. Oh, 300? Wow. Oh, there uh, we go. But that's what she said. Oh, so those outhouses just kind of appear out of nowhere. You must be worried when you hit a save point, they they pop up. So they're like they're like Bioshock, where they have the the, the beta tubes, the chamber, beta chamber, right? They just appear. Huh. It's a very odd way to save. Hmm. Uh, follow the arrow. I hate the fact that it scatters them everywhere. Yeah, I know, and there's no... And it doesn't automatically attract them to you. Unless you have that stupid power-up. Well, I got another, um, gear wheel thing. Oh, we, we yes. finally get to figure out what these things are, huh? This just might do. Can I, Julius? Oh, hello, Di. You, you know this golden cog just might be perfect for my latest invention. The Cogulaceous Boomerangerous Extrapolator. Right, what's that? Why, it's a machine that creates experimental techno-rangs. I need techno -rangs? golden cogs to build a new one. Fifteen, to be exact. And if you find enough, bring them to my lab in Rainbow Cliffs, and I'll build you a new boomerang. You're on, mate. So we get, so we get to build um techno boomerangs, huh? Yeah, apparently. I like how the, the, the smoke turns into that little skull as it fades <laughs> off. Oh. Oh, 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 I'm almost dead. How do we get health? Well, well then... there's no health meter. Oh, yeah, there is. Whenever I get hit, there's a little health meter, and I'm on my last quarter. So am I, like, not supposed to die in the tutorial area? Question. To you. I don't know, so far the gameplay on this is just absolutely riveting. <laughs> <laughs> they... Oh, there's well, it's a pretty generic platformer. Well, so far, I don't know if you can call it a platformer yet. Well... But, uh, well, I call them 3D platformers, you know, the, the Jackson, Dexter, the, uh, uh, what's, what's the name of that one? Clank, Ratchet and Clank? Yeah, and there's, like, Sly Cooper. Yeah, the Sly Cooper ones there. Oh. They're all the set, that same genre. Uh-huh. Those Sly and that Sly and Dak are a little more platform and less just running around collecting orbs. Yeah. Well, you're running around collecting cogs and or red things and, and people in cages. <laughs> yeah, the, the, you sure this isn't a rare game? <laughs> so they're they're into all kinds of collectibles.
Oh, yeah. The camera just does not do any favors. I need to learn how to swim. Oh, you're almost there. Is that something gold? Oh, I was going to say, is it something gold back there? Okay, so... That's probably a rather... Or a pretty good look at this um, very generic platformy action game. Not quite as riveting as our previous episode with um, Xena Warrior Princess. No, for sure. I think they tried a little too hard to make it too Australian, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. So, um, very bad accents. And very bad cameras. Well, that was a common problem with a lot of these games. Uh -huh. you know, yeah, right, right straight through. I mean, even today with bad cameras and bad camera uh, games and bad camera control. Mm -hmm. Someday, someone will perfect it. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. So that will do it for this random retro bonus round. Um. Tune in next time for a completely random retro game. <laughs>